the Miterite miter box. And, uh, it's very nice. You can do very precise work with it. It's lightweight. It is uh, ABS plastic. Even though it's plastic, this is very durable. This is like you know, football helmet okay. grade plastic. Um, what makes this different than your typical miter box um, is that you have all of the angles you can set this to. Right. Uh, um, but your typical miter box, you have you know 90 degrees and 45 degrees, and, and that's it. Right. So this you could do in between. So if you're making like you know a hexagon or something, you need to yeah. make yeah, we'd think different for... cuts. All right. So the the saw slides in. Uh, it has two screws to apply a little bit of tension onto the side of the blade because you don't want it to be you know, flopping around in sure. there. Um, there's this little notch on the saw handle locks in there so when you're not using it, it just kind of nicely stores away your blade. Right. So you don't have all the manuals memorized yet? No. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, it's just a 90 degree stop. And it locks in. There's a hole in here to lock it on. Gotcha. This is just to, you know, storage. Right. Challenge. Wow, it even has the micro ticks on there. Yeah, it that's does. really cool. I'm glad I got that on camera. Yep. Um, the saw, most saws cut on the pull. This right. saw is cutting on the push. Okay. Which is important because you want to be with your workpiece up against yeah. the rear wall, and you know, each time your saw bites in, you don't want it pulling off. Yeah, yeah. As you're drawing your saw back. So you're just holding your piece up against the wall yep. and cutting into it. And there you have it. Nice. A beautiful clean cut. Is that a 45? That is a 45. So if you take, if you take the other 45 and put them together, you have a nice clean joint. Look at that. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you do beautiful, very intricate cuts. They come out super clean and it's so versatile. You could do all the different angles on it. Get close up with a saw. I mean, it has a really thin blade, so you can get really precise cuts, very clean. Uh, but that's a fairly thick, I mean, that's a fairly thick uh, dowel you use there. So yeah. it's, you know, yeah, it's up to the challenge. Me. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. All right.